how to add internal links in WordPress 2023 tutorial for beginners. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope all of you are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video. And in this video, we're gonna be discussing about WordPress and how you can add internal links inside it. Now it's gonna be really simple and it's gonna be really useful. So please do make sure to watch this video till the end to gain all the information you can about the internal links and how you can add them in WordPress. So. Without further ado, let's just get straight into the business. So first of all, what you're going to do is obviously you're going to make sure you have a proper fully, you know, uh, signed in WordPress account. If you don't, I'm going to get you through it really quickly. Just go and get started. You're going to add in an email address for yourself. Uh, so, OK, set up a random username. OK, then you're going to choose a good, strong password for yourself. So here you go. And once you've added that, then you're going to click on create your account. OK, now once you clicked on create your account, obviously it's going to sign you in and everything. And once it signs up, uh, let me show you how the interface is going to look. Now, once you set yourself up and everything, you're going to come to a dashboard that's going to look somewhat like this. OK, now in this dashboard, obviously we're going to add internal links. Now to add internal links, you're going to come to posts and obviously you're going to make sure you have posts in your website. Now, I assume that your website is, you know, properly functioning, properly working. That's why you've come to, you know, learn how you can add internal links. But if you don't have posts, you can always just add them really easily by coming over here. Click on add new post as so. OK, now once you do that, obviously it's going to load you into the post interface and in the post interface, obviously we're going to go ahead and add whatever post that we want to add. Okay. I'm just going to add a uh, right test post. Okay. Let's add test post. And once you do that, you're obviously going to go ahead and write whatever content you want to write. Okay. Uh, so just go ahead and write whatever you want. And once you've written whatever you wanted to, so you're going to make sure to preview it. If it's good to go, you're going to publish it. And once you do that, that's basically how you're going to create a post for your website. Pretty simple, right? So let's publish this and let me show you how it's going to look in your post section. And once I show you, we're going to come back to this interface because here is where we're obviously going to be adding the internal links. Now, internal links are obviously your hyperlinks that you can add inside of texts in your links. So if I were to go back, let me show you. Here we are. So as you can see, test post as so. OK, and you can find it in all posts. You can categorize it in different ways and forms if you want to. So pretty simple, pretty basic and easy stuff. And uh, then obviously moving further on with all of this, what you're going to do, OK, is um, obviously for internal links, you can go to different websites like AIO, SEO, et cetera. But we're not going to do that. What we're going to be doing is uh, you can go on add plugins, okay, plugins as so. And you're going to try to find a good SEO plugin for yourself for a proper link assistant. OK, so you can come here and uh, you can like choose the Yoast SEO premium, choose the WooCommerce subscriptions, uh, WooCommerce booking, Sensei Pro. You have all these different things that you can choose from. OK, but the best, in my opinion, would be AI SEO. OK, let me show you what it does now. Why am I adding AI SEO is because it has its own um you could say link toolkit and it allows you to basically add links etc and uh, all you're going to need to do is you're going to download it from here and once you do that you're going to come here where you know it says upload you're going to click on that and you're going to upload the seo uh, plugin that you just installed okay now do you know this currently i'm on the free plan and on the free plan you cannot add anything for that you're going to have to properly upgrade your website as you can see it tells me down there to upgrade and continue i'm not going to be doing that right now but you can do this for yourself obviously now once you're here on aio seo you can see the best wordpress seo plugin and toolkit you know it gives you all these things join three million plus professionals who use aio seo finally a wordpress seo that's easy and powerful now it has a lot of features in this you know True SEO on page analysis, rich snippets, local SEO, smart XML, video SEO, sitemap, social media integration. But this is what we're looking for. Link assistant. Get relevant suggestions for adding internal links to older content as well as finding any orphaned 
posts that have no internal links whatsoever. And this is obviously a new feature. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on get all in one SEO for WordPress. And once you do that, obviously, you're going to make sure to choose a plan or whatsoever. Okay. Or you could just come here directly. Okay. If you don't want to add the plugin from there, you can just write AIOSC over here and you're going to get it. Okay. If you don't get it, obviously it's, um, it's probably a region thing, or maybe it's a free plan thing, but, um, preferably if you don't get it here, just download it in from their website over here. And, uh, normally you do get it here as so, as you can see, and obviously you're going to need to upgrade and activate it. But once you've done all of that, you're obviously going to get a plugin widget down here. Like once you've installed it, you're going to get a plugin widget where it's going to say all in one SEO. Okay. And in that all-in-one SEO widget, it's going to give you a few things. So first of all, there's going to be your dashboard. Okay. And in that dashboard, you're going to have general settings. You're going to have search appearance, social networks, site maps, redirects, local SEO, SEO analysis, tools, feature manager, all of that. But what we need to do is we're going to go on the link assistant. Okay. Now, why do we need to go to its link assistant? We're going to need to go to its link assistant because that's going to actually help us uh, as it says, link assistant, right? So it's going to assist us in making proper links, internal links for our posts. Okay. So it's also going to show you your external and affiliate links as well. So three links, basically internal affiliate and external. And it's also going to show you the posts that were crawled, the orphan posts and how many external internal or affiliate links it has in it. Now, to obviously mess around with that, what you're going to do is you're going to like, once you get AIO SEO, you're going to go into the links report section where, you know, it's going to tell you all the different things that you can mess around with. And once you've gotten to the links report section from there on out, obviously you're going to make sure to, uh, just go ahead, choose whatever post you want to. And obviously in every post, it's going to tell you how many links are actually embedded in that post. And from those embedded links, obviously you can go ahead and choose which link you actually want to make internal, external, or affiliate. Okay. And it's going to show you a percentage of the link upgradation that, uh, you know, works with the SEO. So it's going to show you up here in the top, right? The percentage and the link assistant. And then you have the domains report that you can also get out for, you know, whatever posts that you have working for yourself. So pretty simple stuff. And, uh, yeah, the, all you need to do is just know what AIO SEO is. You're going to know how to actually add it to your WordPress. And once you've added it, by the way, it's totally free. Like all you're going to need to do is you're going to upgrade the plan. And after that, it's totally free to add over here. But yeah, once you're done with that, you're going to be essentially pretty much good to go. So yeah, again, from there, just choose whatever post you want in that post, choose however many links you want to be internal, external or affiliate. And once you're done with that, Basically, that's it when it comes to adding an internal link into your WordPress hosts. So, yeah, that's basically about it. Now, if you enjoyed watching this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please let me know down in the comments below and I will make much more for you. And if you have any uh, sudden issues or if I left anything out in this video, please let me know that as well. And uh, obviously... I'll reply to you as soon as I can regarding it. But yeah, that's essentially about it. Now, thank you all for watching this video till the end. I was all from me, and I hope you all keep having a great, incredible day ahead of you. I'll see you all next time. And yeah, that's it for me. Goodbye.